All right, we have some, uh, some resolutions um, to go through. There's going to be an amendment to resolution uh, 1213 um, on the minutes of that meeting. Um, it was Supervisor Joyce to appoint Ron Miller to the uh, role of <coughs> Deputy Supervisor to expire for a term of, at, uh, to expire on 30 12, 6 30 2012. Um, what I didn't put in there was the uh, the salary. So we're going to amend the uh, that resolution 1213 and request that we uh, amend it to be Supervisor Joyce uh, appoints Norm Miller as Deputy Supervisor for a term to expire on 6 30 2012 for an amount of $902 for a semi annual salary of $902. Actually, um, resolution 1213 is addressed under the roll call because when I gave you the draft, I did not put what the roll call was. I put the names, but it didn't have the votes. That's, a je that's resolution 1213. The one below that, remember there was no resolution, it was just your appointed norm. So that is not a resolution, but is on page 9. So there's actually two amendments. So, all right, the second one is number. The first one is addressing resolution 1213 and the roll call. And then the next one down says page nine amends supervisor Joyce appointment. Okay? So, just so you know, there's two amendments. <coughs> all right, um, do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. And if I could just clarify, what we're doing here is just amending the, the roll call for that no. resolution? Um, on the draft, I did not put what the roll call was. On the draft of what? The draft of the organizational meeting. Sorry. On the draft of. When I sent the draft out. Of the meeting minutes, okay. I neglected to put what that roll call was. Um, so okay. it had everyone's name, so but I just didn't know. put what the, how they voted. Okay. So I just want to make sure that so the, I put it on there, and I will put it on. There. Okay. So the motion is to own. approve an amendment to the meeting minutes to include the following exactly. amendment or the following two items: changes, changes to the roll call, yeah, yeah. a okay. roll call, and then to the uh, and then so, right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. You. okay. All right, I guess we'll start again. So do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Council members Edwards? Aye. Esposito? Yes. Jasinski? Yes. yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, the next resolution is to Approve the meeting minutes from the January 10th. Uh, accepted, presented, and amended. Do I have a motion? So moved. Bob. I'll second. Right. Council members Edwards? Esposito? Yes. Jusensky? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. All right. Just a, a point. Um, if the council could speak up a little bit, it's sort of hard to hear all the way around. So I'm just going to let it fly. <coughs> all right, uh, the next motion is to approve the minutes from the January 24th meeting be accepted as presented. Do I have a motion? <coughs> Mike, a motion. Second. Council members Edwards? Aye. Esposito? Yes. Drusinski? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so, all business. Um, George, Town Hall. Town Hall. And Trooper Barris. 
Basically, everything's working fine in the town hall right now. <coughs> Two barracks, nothing going on there. Water department we fixed the uh, fitting up there in the River Church Road. Fixed fine the paint, paint the inside of the pump house. That with DOT about to realign up down here at Bridgewood Drive. Okay, move the water. We're not moving the water line. The state's moving the water line. Gave them all specifications what they need to do and what kind of valve to use, pipe to run. Outside of that. So, all right. Good deal. Um, I don't have any questions. I know I talked this afternoon. Um, Bob, anything for Joe? Mm -hmm. Joe? No, nothing. Lou? No. Todd? Nothing for you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Highway. <coughs> Hello, I'm Nick Moore. <laughs> Pull out <one> again. <laughs> uh, had a beautiful winter. A great winter. I only moved snow twice. And uh, I think we should save some money with the county, hopefully. We didn't have to plow and salt as much. Uh, one stop sign got knocked down on Richard Drive and Penguin Road. I don't know how, but the county put it back up the next day. Uh, they called us ex. <laughs> I had them cleaned twice only, so let's uh, The only thing I would like to mention is if. Uh, we can concentrate on uh, Parker's Corners Road, uh, like we started. I think he's already mentioned it at the last meeting. Because mm -hmm. I think it's a serious uh, situation there. And uh, I did have a, a, a paper submitted on what was a good thing that we could do for it, which wasn't that expensive for the county or the state, whoever was involved. I think they're trying to pass it to each other. Uh, last time we talked about it, uh, what they did was made it worse, actually. They planted grass where there was a place where cars would go around. So now the cars are up and they got a hairpin turn coming out of Parker's Corners Road to get onto a different church road if they want to take a right, which is very dangerous for them to do that turn because cars are coming over the hill. That's the one thing. And what all has to be done there is it doesn't have to be a 90 degree angle coming down Parker's Corners uh, to Gifford Church. All it has to do is be enough where cars can't come uh, up the hill at a ridiculous rate of speed so where they have to slow down and go around the corner. So it would be nice if the board, if we get together again this year, like we've been trying to do, <coughs> see if they can do something about it before somebody gets killed there, you know. That's about it. Thank you. So, Mr. Myers, so if it's okay with you, Nick, I'd like you, and I'll help. Um, I'd like to Bob see. Myers is uh, going to be chairing a committee, hopefully with uh, some residents of Parker's Corners. Mm -hmm. And if it's okay, we'd like to uh, uh, dip into your knowledge. And, and what I want to do is get the committee to send a note to DOT or the county, you know, with your recommendations and your support and the board support right, saying, right. you know, we need to fix this. So Bob is uh, leading the committee. I'd like to, uh, okay. you know, uh, ask you to help us. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, well, I can help it go through. Yeah. This has been going on for years. It's a dangerous place, yeah. Right. I mean, they're blind so, up there. After so many, a lot of accidents have happened there. They do have a record of it. Mm -hmm. Luckily, nobody was actually killed there. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, code enforcement. Then a slow start to the season. Permits from last year are, you know, being cleared up. It's an inspection. It's a slow start. Does it usually pick up, you know, on yeah. January, the, February, the spring? Probably yeah. very close. Okay. Yeah, permits are set. Anything for Dan? 
Maestro. Don? <coughs> Thank you, sir. Darla. I'll come up. I know. Although it's been very quiet, technically. I did have one call this past month. Um, someone had a bird in their garage. Bird had a tag, didn't know the call, so they called me. I referred them to DEC. Um, I'm just making some phone calls for delinquent licenses. It's been other than, other than the bird call, I've had no, no stray calls, no nothing. Um, we have received the APF renewal, the contract to tell me the agenda tonight, which is good. Everybody, Peter's looking at it. Said it. We're all good. It's great. And um, DCO training, um, sponsored by Agate Markets, is coming up in May. The um, the request and the check to pay for that is coming up as part of new business for $50. Um, <coughs> 16 hours of the training. I look forward to that. So. <laughs> Why do they call you about a bird in the garage? I don't know. They probably don't know who else to call. Um, I don't know if they check the website to see um, who the animal control officer is. Not knowing my limitation is just a dog control officer. No, but I did provide them with the information to de for DEC to contact. I have not heard back from her. I told her to call me if she didn't have any help. But um, we did have an alternative, which is um, a wildlife rescue also that uh, would take care of the bird and be behind us. Thank you, Dara. All right. New business, do some transfers from the general funds claims. Do I have a resolution or a motion for the town board to approve claim 17 to claim 48 in the amount of $8,023.06? So moved. Is that five? Five. All second. Two seconds. Council members Edwards, um, Esposito, yes. Jusinski, yes. Myers, yes. Joyce. Yes. Okay. Uh, water fund claims. Do um, so I have a motion that the town approve claim four to claim 17 in the amount of $5,547.64? <coughs> Do I have a motion? I'll make it. I'll second. Councilman Edwards? Aye. Esposito? Yes. Jasinski? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. <coughs> Town board meeting video approval. Um, do I have a motion that the town board approve the video audio tape recording of the January 24th? I think all of the January. No, I think all of January would be tonight's meeting. Okay. Uh, the Did two you approve the organizational? Let's see. Somebody tell me that and see the organizational meeting on. That was on. Tim? Oh, okay. I know I haven't watched them, so it was just someone that. Okay, so this would be tonight's meeting, so it would be two fourteen. Let me start again. Um, do I have a motion for the town board approve the video audio tape recording of the two fourteen St. Valentine's Day town board meeting upon viewing of the town clerk? Do I have a motion? So moved. I'll second. Councilmember Edwards? Aye. Esposito? Yes. Jusinski? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. Um, do I have a motion that Supervisor Joyce review and sign the 2012 Schenectady County Animal Protective Foundation APF Animal Control Sheltering Contract? Quick note, Darla looked at it. I've had people get it. 
just one thing I want to bring to the board's attention on this, and this is and Darla's attention, is that there there is a provision in here that says that the town will indemnify the foundation if the town uh, provides direction to the foundation to put it down or put it up for adoption and adopt it somebody, and then somebody comes in and sues the foundation for doing that, the town would be responsible for their legal fees. So just caution that um, when we make those decisions, if and when we have to make those decisions, we do so very carefully. Does that change from the prior contract? Yeah, the, apparently the whole contract has changed since 2011. Um, there may have been a provision in the 2011 one that's similar. Although, this is the 2011 contract. That's my kind of contract. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's a lot more time yeah, there's, it's, 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 a lawyer got their hand on this one pretty, pretty obviously. So, um, again, it's not something I think we should go back to them and try and change because they're probably not going to agree to it. But when it comes time, if we have to make that decision, I think we should just all be aware of it and make that decision very carefully. Do I have a motion? So moved. Is that back? Yes, yes ma'am. I'll second. Council members Edwards? Aye. Esposito? Yes. Krasinski? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. Um, the next contract, the DOT right away for Last year, I not sure. Um, we have a motion that Supervisor Joyce review and sign the release of the New York State DOT Office of Right of Way Assignment of Claim and Release as requested by the Law Office of Paul M. Callahan, representing Jerry and Linda Lausch of Birch Drive. Um, again, Pete's taking a look at it. I reviewed it with George, um, and you've all seen it. I spoke to uh, the lady from DOT, Shen, um, the Jerry and Linda are being compensated, um, so I think everything is good. Yeah, just so everybody knows what it is, it appears that um, the the state